highest ranking field in, uh, in Sobita Rickini's database for Kansas. Right here. Organic matter of did you say six four? Six point four percent. And do you know do you know the number on it? Is it a twenty one, a nineteen? I can send it to you. Okay, what do we have here? This field was was uh, triticale that we harvested for grain for a cover crop seed company. And then we planted this warm, cool season mix. It was about a 40-way mix that we planted. Uh, it would have been planted mid, late July. So what's the tall, warm season grass here? Sudan. Sudan? Okay. The uh, day after we planted it, the custom applicator called and goes, you're talking about the field by the vineyard? And I said, yeah, and I said, we won't spray that. And the cover crop mix was planted. So another case where we had we needed to burn down and couldn't get it. The grass uh, taken over? Well, as you can see, this is what we got. There's places where the grass was a little too established. Right. And the cover crop couldn't get ahead of it. Other places, the cover crop got Did beautiful. Right, right, right. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, so, sunflower, I see the oats, yeah. So, the, the oats, here's some prozo millet. All right, right, right. Flax. So what was this beforehand? Triticale. Triticale. We harvested it for grain. Last? This summer. This in summer. July and then planted so, this behind it. Okay. Wow, this is a lot of vegetative growth since, when, when did you plant this it is again? very disappointing. This is disappointing <laughs> for... Very disappointing vegetative growth. For, it is. Yes. Uh, oh, you good. see, I'm not, I'm not feeling that. So you would have, you couldn't have walked, you would have expected this to not even be able to walk yeah, through? Yeah, I, I would have hoped we would have had to fight to get our way through it somewhat. I mean, I, we, we, we've learned, we're planting these 30, 40 way mixes and we're planting, as you see, we've got our cool seasons, we're planting at the same time as our warm season. So right. we don't want full canopy from the warm season. Right. Because we got to keep enough sunlight on the ground for these to, get to these go. to go, because this is the what, time they would be growing. Yeah, what this would normally look like today, if we would have gotten the stand we were looking for, these oats would, would just, they would be just starting to take off in the brassicas because we're just going to be cooling off and, and as the warm seasons start to die back and the canopy opens up, then the cool seasons come up and flourish. But where we, we struggled with the warm seasons earlier, the cool seasons got taken off and, and the cool summer helped them, didn't hinder them, fortunately. So it, it helped help fill in a lot of, a lot of blood. I don't, I just don't, I have a hard time considering this a failure. <laughs> This is the, I, you know this so is the power of diversity. So it is, it is. So so you're getting an effective cover in, in production, not what you wanted. No. And is it because of the that the grass that is that is that it's why you're grass. yeah it 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 was here when we harvested the triticale, and so it had a bit of a head start in places. And What's the most competitive species that would have maybe gotten, in, and I'm pointing to the little grass patch there. Uh, the sunflowers. And some here. Sunflowers would have. Legumes would have done really well. Really well, yeah. okay. So what would you do differently then? If, well, would you obviously put, we would wanted to have had it sprayed before we, you know, to have taken the crabgrass out. If not, if we if we had known they weren't going to spray, you see the cow right. peas, uh, the sunflowers, all those, you know, here were pretty thick spot and the sunflowers are terrible but they, they survived. They the made it right. Actually right. they don't look too bad. So right. You know some of the legumes and, and broadleaves will handle the grass. Uh, so what's the plan after what's the plan now? Are you is this gonna this be, be grazed? grazed? Yeah. This will be grazed and then depending on how soon we get off the cows, uh, we'll go with uh, low CN cover crop and go to a warm season grass next year corn milo. When you're going to go a low CN, you're going to go, is, is that going to be a, uh, a cow pea? Uh, constant? Well, it'll be a winter pea. Winter pea, yeah, okay. Winter pea right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. Uh, this field is 6.4% organic matter. Wow. We have only applied a total of 60 pounds of nitrogen here in the last four years. And we're wanting to go organic over here. Okay. In the, in the very near future. So let's grab a spot and maybe dig. Maybe, maybe obviously not right in the grass spot here, but so that so you getting a hold of that grass would have been a good thing to. Here's what 6.4 percent organic matter does to wow. residue. Wow, that's just that's a July 
This uh, is July, from uh, Triticale. Jeez. And you know how big Triticale is, yep. right through the combine, which breaks it up too much, and they just destroy it. And we're little earthworms, but look at that. <laughs> yeah, Top look two at that. inches. That, that's just great stuff. I don't even know what you call that, Mike, cause, because that's, yeah. that's not soil. Yeah. I mean, it's just, there's about two inches of duff, and this is really forgiving when you make a mistake with a planter or anything like that. Yeah, that's great stuff. Just look at that. It's just beautiful. Precip here, 30? 35. 35, okay. So here you've got sun hemp. This is oh, a tropical plant. Right, 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 right. Growing next to oats. Sunflower is a dry plant. Buckwheat. Flax. Northern plains plant. All growing within three feet of each other. Yeah, year. that's nice. And, and all thriving. This this has actually had a rough year. This this should be four foot taller and blooming. So you've been practicing this for how many years? The cover crop? The, well, no, let's go with no-till because that's probably got a long, the oldest, oldest age, right? Well, we've been 100% since 95. Okay. Started playing in the 80s and couldn't make it work. Okay. Quit a couple times. And then how about the multi-species cover crops? You got six uh, we, years? We planted our first monoculture cover crop in 98. Okay, and okay. we quit in 2000 with the drought because we had a rough year financially and so the cover crops left. And in 03, we realized how much we screwed up by taking the cover crops out. Um, okay. After three dry years, we realized the residue is what we were after. And so 03, we started with our first mix. So you got 11 years. We have 11 years. Okay. Yeah. So what That's... we did with this, this crop is with one planting on July 5th, we planted three crops. We planted a sunflower crop for harvest. We planted a warm season cover crop and a cool season cover crop. So we can harvest the sunflowers if they make it, which right now they look like they're going to. We can bring in the cows or the sheep behind the combine and graze off the cover crop. Right. And next spring we will still have cover crop there. So we, we virtually harvest one cash crop where you're growing almost all of next year's fertility and grazing That's a crop. That's excellent. Wow. With one planter pass. With one planter pass. Yep. One planter pass. And and successful sunflower harvest. And a successful sunflower harvest. Right. That's it. And what was your rate on the sunflowers? Uh, to be able I think to do it was about twenty two thousand okay. population. Okay. It's between twenty and twenty two. So what is your uh, brassica uh, rate? What do you stick with? Half or uh, one or any mix I put in, I I rarely put anything over two pounds of total brassica. Right. Total. Total. That's 